So I found Jet. And I left 40 more of KG82. Oh my god, that robot is so cool! Hey guys, I'm Manuel, and today we're doing a review of Star Wars. A Rogue One story. Oh god, I've been saying it sounds cool! Okay, now Star Wars Rogue One is a sequel to the prequels, but a prequel to the original trilogy and a prequel prequel to the new trilogy, Star Wars 7. I think I was right. Yeah? Hey, itchy balls. There we go. Okay, so this movie takes place between episode 3 and episode 4. In between, nice little gap. And... What did I think of the movie? Okay, now this movie was my most anticipated movie of the year. So I went in there with a lot of, a lot of hype. But also expectations because episode 7 was so good. For me anyway, I mean, everyone has their own opinions. But I loved it so much and I went in there thinking, Mmm, okay. Let's see if we can beat this. And... It did. This movie beat episode 7 for a number of reasons. I mean, for one, the characters were all equally portrayed. It was like Guardians of the Galaxy where all the characters got all the screen time they needed. They developed properly. It wasn't like Suicide Squad where Margot Robbie and Wilson had way more than everyone else and everyone else had bit lines here and there. It wasn't like, oh, some had more than others and they were kind of trying to fit it in. No, it was equal and it felt natural. Everyone got the time they needed. Some people more than others, like Jen Ursa got more than most because, well, she is a central plot character, like Star-Lord is in Guardians of the Galaxy. So you, you get that plot point and I'm fine with that. But everyone else got a really good amount of plot, and I really did enjoy seeing it. I was very, very glad with that. It was one of my worries if they fit everyone in, and it worked fine, everyone worked well. That seems to have a really good connection, and it was great. The story was very well paced. Now, the prequels has got a lot to do, and it's got a lot to live up to, because Star Wars, obviously. And the pacing worked fine. The moments were great. There were some slow moments, but they worked, because if you have an emotional moment, you need a slow moment to kind of calm things down, see what the characters are feeling, then jump into it. And they had some slow moments, and it worked great. And I have no real complaints about the pacing. And it just, it was very smooth and none of it was like, oh, damn, this is really you know, boring or annoying. I left this movie 
feeling like it was way shorter than it was. I love it when a movie does that. When a movie makes you feel like it's shorter than the time limit, so for example, this movie is two hours and a half, it made me leave feeling it was shorter than that. And I loved that feeling. I left thinking, wait, it's already 4 a.m.? I went to the midnight release, yep, I know. That was, that was a hectic day for me, not gonna talk about it. And the main story as well was a really good premise and they really expanded and explored it and it just, it worked so well. The Easter eggs and the references to different Star Wars movies are really good as well. I mean, you'll watch it, if you're a Star Wars fan, you'll watch it and be like, Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! The special effects were great. The CGI was really good with the practical effects. Same as Episode 7, they had a great marriage, it worked really well. The CGI also didn't change too much. Basically, let's say CGI from Episode 4. It made it better, so it was like, okay, we know we're doing a movie with more of our technology, but it is set before that movie, so we kind of need to make it look similar, but better. And that's what they said, they made the effects look similar, but way better, and it just, it really widened the scope of what we could see in terms of Star Wars effects. And the galaxy, the stars, planets, I mean, it's a visual spectacle. Star Wars is always a visual spectacle. Even the practical effects were visually spectacular. God, this movie. Kay and Mr. Yen were just so good. My God, these two, for me, they're going to stick out. I love them. Jenna, so great. Four should be great. No doubt about that. Miles Mackerson. Oh, Miles Mackerson? I can't pronounce your name. Um, guy, who was also in Doctor Strange as a villain. Damn, you're a lot of villains, aren't you? Woo! But all the characters were great, and those who just really suck up for me. K Comedy. The only bad thing with this movie was... I wanted more. I wanted more of the characters. I wanted to see more of their backstory. I kind of wanted to be like... Oh, I want to see how he did this, or how he got to here, or what, what I had in him. And you don't maybe get those answers, but you want those answers. That's why I kind of wanted to have more. See, that's how good of a movie is. Even the bad is me asking for more. Am I the problem here? Probably am. Fucking hell. Like, seriously, I love this movie. I can't say it's bad. It's better than episode 7. 100%. I mean that. Uh, orders of movies, it's Empire Strikes Back. And then Rogue One. These movies are so close. This is the... Empire Strikes Back of the new Star Wars movies. Okay, the order it goes is Empire Strikes Back, Rogue One, Episode 7, A New Hope, Return of the Jedi, and then Episode 3, 2, 1. I don't like the free quotes, free, free, the free prequels, that works. But yeah guys, I really, really, really enjoy this movie. It is so fun, it is so good, and... That's all I can really say, isn't it? Guys, I've really enjoyed this movie, and I seriously recommend you go watch this. Now, if you think I'll watch it in DVD, don't do that. This is a cinema movie to watch. You need to go see it. Um, CGI, I thought, was really good. Um, some bits better than others, because obviously you've got such a big budget, but you've got so many things to do that you can't always spread around equally. So some things are better than others, I can say that. So maybe that's a weakness of having not the CGI 100% equal to everything else. Some bits better than others. Perhaps I wanted it all to be just better. But you know, you can't have everything. I know that, I know that. Okay guys, I'm gonna give Star Wars a Rogue One story an A plus plus with the Keishki approval. Oh my god! Yeah, you deserve it man. You deserve it, that movie. I know I'm only a positive reviewer and I give things high ratings then I regret it later on, but this time I won't regret it. I won't regret it. Right now I want to thank my friend Jamie for doing this video with me today. Uh, what are you doing? It, it didn't look like nothing. No, it's nothing. No, okay, okay. Did it do nothing? What was that? No. I wasn't, I promise. No. I, I wasn't. Just, no. Get out. Just get out. Why, Jamie? Why, what's the point? And I also want to thank my friend, Matt. That was Matt. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've seen Rogue One and you want to talk about it, then we can write in the comments. If you agree with what I said, disagree, or hate what I said, or anything like that, then you know, write in the comments and we can have a bit of a intelligent conversation. This is the YouTube we're looking for. This is the YouTube we subscribe to. These are the comments you're looking for. Do it. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, share, subscribe, and watch some more videos, then you know, the link's on the screen now. How's he that? I don't know. Could be magic or it could be, you know what? No. Could be the Force! Force! Or the Empire.
Jen! I'm coming for you!